All right, so we're heading over here. Her whole clan's dead. Come on, limp dicks. What? Come on, lip. Her whole clan just died, and she yells, saying, "Come on, limp dicks." This game is so. Uh, I don't even know how to say. It. it just feels like a super immature game. You know what I mean? Like, oh, everyone I cared about is dead now. Oh, let's go get these limp dicks. What? Oh my god. I'm just gonna snipe them all. Those is effective. Reminds me now of like Borderlands or like um like Far Cry right now. Be the distance of sniping the enemies. Who's left? The music stopped playing. <laughs> According to this, there's still an enemy there. Where? Behind? Maybe behind the thing? It's firing on me. Maybe I have to run up to disable this thing? I might have to go manually go up. Okay. Shot all the drones. So you can't shoot this. You can't shoot or hack it. I guess you gotta disable it from here. Path clear. I'm coming for you. What? There's nothing here. I killed everything. There's nothing for you to do. <laughs> I already killed everybody. You can relax. Just a bunch of bodies. I'm just gonna guess Hellman's not here. It was all for nothing. Now. Get back! Back! Toss your weapons or I'll shoot! Alright, maybe I that repeat. is him. Drop your weapons! Now! You don't see the shit you're in? You shoot him, and a millisecond later, you'll eat lead too. I let him go, I'll still hey, eat lead. Shoot him. Look around. You're fresh out of we'll see about For that. For fuck's sake, fucking shoot, shoot him already! Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it! Oh, shit. You got him. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. Oh, it's Mitch. That's not Hellman. Morons. Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch That's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. Quick, loot him. Every... Mitch? They won't let me duck right now. I can't duck. Oh, I'm skipping the cutscene. Because I wanted to go in here, I accidentally skipped the whole cutscene. Oh, that's good. You know, it's real smart of them to make skipping cutscenes the same button as crouching, especially when a lot of the times you're going to want to crouch and loot while they're talking. That's real smart of them. It's very great, smart uh, game design to entirely skip conversations by pressing the same set exact button. I wish that I was that smart to make a game like that. <laughs> Fucking idiots. 
All right. Um. Now let's see here. Steven Seagull Chitty said, "Why don't you play this like GTA? Go nuts with guns and be entertaining. Try to get in hard areas, etc." Uh, thank you for the cheers. CM Fool to me, Dollar Thirty says, "Does the game feel like it's from the '90s?" No, but at the same time, it feels like a mishmash of games I've already played, and that's why it's not very fun. M. Roy to me, four dollars twenty cents. I don't know who the fuck spread nonsense. The game's only twenty hours long. I'm thirty hours in with important side character narratives incomplete. The Silverhand arc is still not resolved. I think you're about eight hours of gameplay behind me, story wise. Yeah, I, I really just started focusing on the story. I was doing some various side missions and things. So, yeah, I was, you know, I mean, I'm probably behind you. I, I, I get the feeling, even though this is a game that I'm not really liking that much, uh, it's going to take me a while to beat it. So, so I'm sorry about, oh, we could sit, sit on the crate. So, Scorpion died. Only Mitch survived. I'm sorry about Scorpion. Scorpion, the rest. Everything. Mm -hmm. Sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. Thank you guys for the tips, by the way. Appreciate that. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why. I wanted the man the AV was carrying. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything. See anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. You stay, tell them to stay. I'll, I'll do this myself, so I'll murder everybody. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I'm going with you. I promised I would help. Besides... Those bastards killed Scorpion. So now she wants revenge. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Shout out to Murdoch, who just reached up at tier 3 for 34 months. Thank you for the tier we'll 3 support, sir. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Kang Tao lost okay. contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Wasn't I any 20 street cred to get the best park. upgrades? I think it was. Revenge is why you're still helping me. Let's get to work. I hope you settle the score with Kong Tao. I'll just say let's get to let's work. Ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Okay. Wait, what's this? The random item. So, uh, Carl Jr. said that I guess one of the items I had picked up... Oh, I leveled up, by the way. One of the items that I picked up was a new smart gun, and he's wondering if it's better than the handgun that I have. No. In fact, insanely bad. Way less DPS. It gives you electrical damage, but it's like... The gun I have is crazy good. I don't remember where I got this gun, but this handgun is, like, super-duper good. So, I'm just gonna stick with what I got. I already have one smart gun regardless. We did find new body armor, and the body armor is slightly more armor, but mine's better because it gives the boosts. Um, what about here? Uh, let's do Intelligence of Seven. I fucked up. Intelligence of Seven. Right? We're Breach Protocol... No, I want to do quick hacking, I guess. Uh, Daisy Chain. Limiting your target faded by quick hack. Reduce the existing cooldowns for all of their active quick hacks. Unlock crowding specs for uncommon quick hacks. What's this? Reduces the required cybernetic RAM for quick hacks used on devices by one. Yeah, that's good. That's very good, actually. There you go. Okay, we'll do that. All right. Uh, where are we going? Scan the tracks. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. All right, we made a route simulation, so we know where they're going now. Get on the motorcycle. This motorcycle? Which motorcycle? That's all. Uh, I guess she's not coming. Well, fuck it. Oh, well. 
said she was coming, but she's not. <laughs> By the way, I want to go to third person. How do I change that? There we go. He knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I had enough of the city, we would stock up on canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, hit the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Colin Junichi said there's a hack that will do a double damage with hacking. Uh, if the enemy doesn't know where you are, the hacking starts weak and gets stronger than gunplay the more that you actually use it. Interesting. <laughs> Like, I, I'll be honest, like, even if this game had no bugs, I still don't understand why reviewers thought it was good. I'm, I'm wondering what they were playing. I really am wondering what the hell game they were playing. Like, <laughs> there hasn't been one original piece of anything in the game yet. Now there's a fence and I can't get through it. The fence is in the fucking way. Look. What do I, how do I get past it? Oh, here we go. What's going on? I'm going to go over here. Now, what the fuck is this? Oh my god. Little wall. Wait a minute, was that her? What the fuck? She just appeared out of nowhere. Ha, <laughs> I ran him over. Alright. Did I gotta take like no damage? Yeah, they're taking like way less damage. Weird. Look, he's taking no damage. Huh. Hell yeah! Quite the fireworks show. Why is getting on the motorcycle part of this? We have to get off to fight these assholes. Twelve o'clock. The fucking sniper rifle is way better. Seriously is. Look at that. Why waste fucking time? Just do the, do the same damage. The rest is taking helm and with If they manage to regroup, that's Oh, is that it? Better hurry then. That was all of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with helmet. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. There you go. The last they wanted to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the all to tell those all that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Rode up. Now this reminds me of Mad Max. This is how Mad Max was. Remember the Mad Max open world game where you ride around on bikes or in a, in a car around a wasteland and you investigate things, shoot the enemies? That's, now it feels like Mad Max. And by the way, I did get my hair back, which is weird. When you look at the mirror, I'm still bald, but I apparently do still have my hair. It's just a visual glitch when you look in the mirror. Weird shit, man. Music Breaker said I look bored. I mean, eh, I'm not super excited at anything going on right now. We're going to go get revenge for them killing Scorpion okay. by killing more generic enemies over and 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 over. So it's hard to... Oh, fuck. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, hold on. Over and over and over and over. No man. I recognize them. The clans. All right, 
already. Kill them all. Huh. <laughs> Timbal Slice says, this guy can do magic flying out of bushes like it's air. I mean, everything about this game, it, it's like they made the run of it look good. But it plays very much like a very generic game you've played before, you know? Look, visually looks good. And that's about it for me, like... I just got slow mo. It's the first time I got it. Even though I bought that ability a while ago, it's the first time it actually worked. I need cover. Look at this! Look how look at this idiot. He can't even shoot me. Look at this! How did I miss? I don't know how I missed, but I missed like twice when he was right in front of me. to sneak up behind me. Fuck that shit. Alright. Is that it? Just go inside. I must have killed all the ones outside now. They're telling me to go inside. If I'm going inside, I'm going to use my handgun, which fucking melts them. Oh my god. I killed so many. Street cred hit 20. I can now buy the better upgrades from the rippers. Oh, I can fire real fast with this thing. Saying above me? Is there a top is there a higher floor? There must be. What's this? A diner? Look at this. Fuck you. What else shoot me? Huh? I have no idea what's going on. I think you can go upstairs from there. Exit. I don't want to leave. <sighs> So boring. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's just so boring. Go around, loot everything. Loot, keep looting. Loot more. Oh, I can't loot that one. They won't let me. Look at this. You gotta be kidding me. This is actually a guy I need to kill, isn't it? He's just fucking sitting there. Maybe not. Maybe you're not supposed to be in green. So maybe that's a good guy. What? Shut up. Shoot, I'm He's a weapons vendor. What are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Mark. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Ah. Uh, Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Those guys are dicks. You don't look too, don't concerned. Look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I, I just dust myself off and get back to work. Don't look too concerned. What? I already... I already did this. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear <laughs> one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Steven Seagull, it's, it's not that... 
I'm depressed is that the game is not entertaining to me. That's the problem. Oh, man. <laughs> a man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping them there. Thanks. All right. How are you? I'd stay put for a few. Maybe I can buy something exactly from him later. Attention. What the fuck? This is all glitched out. Look, look at this. Keep an helmet. Going in. Okay. Five fifty-five BD fifty-five. BD one C one C fifty-five. King Tao Paramedic. And that's Anders Hellman. His leg's fucked up. Who are you? Come uh, Spawn Killer to me, dollars. Did you say the story was good? I mean, I thought it was, and today he's just kind of a dud. I don't think anything happened today that was very interesting, to me, honestly. So, one of these trees, it looks like Fallout 4, better graphics, same gameplay, and lots of bugs. Uh. Just not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Punch, nothing personal. Don't take this personally. <laughs> Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got helmet. Just a sec, I'll call him. The medic is still here. Okay, we gotta call Takamura. All right. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset <laughs> Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See it. Pick him up. See, I I will agree with the Fallout comparison, except the, I think the gunplay of this game is better than gun, Fallout's gunplay. But peace. Fallout has vats, which True. makes it more interesting. Um, but the truth of the matter is, I feel the world of Fallout is way more interesting than the world of Cyberpunk. You know, I think this world is kind of lame. It's it's very immature for all the stupid sexualized humor. They actually had the, I forgot to talk about this today on pre-stream. CD Projekt Red has gotten so much criticism, they said they're going to update the game and remove a lot of the dildos. Looks yes, like I'm not kidding. They said the, the game has so many dildos, people him? are complaining they're going to sure remove is. dildos from the game. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. <laughs> what the fuck? Where are all these people? This guy's standing on his car, floating. Okay. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few all the <clears throat> The road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? But anyway, the point I'm making is the game is way too over-sexualized. Fallout isn't like that at all. Every once in a while, Fallout will do a silly joke or whatever, but this game is like, the whole plot is based around in the future, everyone became over-sexualized because you can customize your body to be however it wants. And it's like, the first time you see a stupid ad, you'll laugh at it. The millionth time you see the stupid ad of the robot butt gyrating and shit, you're like, I don't want to fucking see this anymore. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm actually pissed off that the whole game is like that, you know? What's and it seems like that's... They, they they probably thought, oh, this will sell the games with the teenagers, the the crowd, the risque crowd who like that stupid shit. 
Like, actually, I just want a serious game with a good plot. I don't care about your dumb fucking sex jokes every 10 seconds, which is literally when you're driving through the city, that's the whole game. And it's like, dude, it's fucking, it's just tiring, you know? The less you know, the better. Trust me. The less you know, the better. Tell me next time, then. The fuck? So. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. It's all I tried to raise, Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow. I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. So some of them did survive. Sure. It wasn't all of them that just got wiped out. Now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me. Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. <laughs> That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Traumatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? All right. Uh, maybe you should talk to Saul. Saul, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move. I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. I already had one. <laughs> well, now I got a second bike. Now I have two bikes that I can summon. <laughs> so that's the whole quest line. Yep, we got Helmet now. We take him to Ta Takamura, and I guess that advances the plot. Okay. Whew. Did it fix my hair? Nope, it's still glitched. It's never gonna show my hair in the mirror for some reason, even though I have hair. Oh my god, this game is a fucking mess. Uh, all right, we gotta talk to him. Him and his bum knee. It's... Hey, where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. <laughs> Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? All right. Biochip. Want to talk about your little invention? Biochip you made for our soccer. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe <laughs> we can talk. Got a problem and you're gonna help me kick it. Nobody sent me. I got a problem and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Here we go. Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Construct, that's impossible. <laughs> Where did you get this biochip? Battle Dawn 9000 says it appears that the, that hair issue in the mirror has to do with if you're wearing a hat or helmet. So if you take off a hat or helmet, maybe your hair shows up again. 
You gotta remove the box from my system. Here, I'll tell him I stole it. You all clipped it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out of And dry. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. Hmm. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arasaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. Okay, so can he remove it? You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. Hmm. Okay, how's it different from the normal one? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more Aware. aggressive. No. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arasaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Okay. Yeah, your tech works. Congrats. I'll just get it out. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. All right. Okay. Stand right next to you. Uh. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. Do you, Captain came in for a hundred bit cheer? Oh, fuck. What is it? <laughs> what? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chief. <laughs> what? The only thing I could do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. <laughs> ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Oh, yeah. Minimize the pain. Doesn't sound like a good idea. You said the project was in the trial phase. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase? You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, mm. sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. <laughs> so what's happening to me exactly? What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. Hmm. I see him and I talk to him. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Jeez, give it a rest. Sir, what do you mean? What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? <laughs> that is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never made a whore of himself. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. <laughs> Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. All right. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Because, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, uh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try to cut I'll it. Try, just as he to cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, 
The data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half brain gunk. <laughs> you just admitted you're right. All right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to gonk's fucking useless without him. He. Takamura. Ah, look who's here. What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Okay. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno battle. <laughs> what are you gonna do with them? What will you do with them? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. <laughs> He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. <laughs> v, I will knife randomly. This. Nah, this heat. The Wheel of Fortune oh, trophy. <laughs> So you can do Twilight Hammer, you can take your Omega blockers. See that? Why are we talking so, about this? Ready? Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something <laughs> eating at your code. That's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first, but I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt boy from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. No. But turned out the best you can do is chase scabs for Annie's. That's it? So it really didn't add anything listening to him. I could have just taken the blocks to begin with. Juvenile bullshit. I'm just trying to help you. Well, I neither want nor do I need your help. Just go. Had enough of you. Whoa, he said, step forward, step back, step forward, step back. V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. So that's the end of the mission. Got it. Now another car was just offered me if I want to buy it. Yeah, the Shion Coyote. Okay. So that's the end of that story mission. Yep. And I leveled up. So, hmm. Four commands, I think they wanted that sequence to be super exciting, but it failed. What I'm noticing is the way that they pace the dialogue, a lot of the times the people are almost talking over themselves. And when they do that, there's no time for dramatic pacing. There's no build. There's no it's just like blah 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 cutscene over. And because of that, it doesn't even feel like a natural conversation. It just feels like you're rushing through it. And the next thing you know, oh mission's done, okay, over with what? So that, you're right, I think that scene, Ford Camaro, was actually meant to be like interesting and, 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 and like, and a critical part of the story. And it's like, blah, 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 done. There's no direction. This game has no direction at all. It's just like a bunch of shit mishmashed together. It doesn't feel like anyone directed the game. <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess I'll put another one into, I don't know, technical intelligence. Yeah, let's put it into technical. Sure. Okay. And then I got another perk point. Uh. Crafting. Gameware components when disassembling. Disassembling items is a chance to get a free component. No. Engineering. We need a grenade. 
Now these are all this is all shit. This is terrible. I don't want that. I'm trying to get more hacking points, which I think you get through quick hacking. I know I have like four points in here, but I don't understand how I get this to increase at all. <laughs> I just don't get it. Um, quick hack still 10% more damage. I don't know. I'm never going to use any of this shit either, I guarantee you. It's all worthless. You have to use hacking to level up hacking? Oh, that's why it's not leveling up? Oh. Great. Okay. Anything new? Uh. A combat. A, 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 set. a combat Ocu set. Okay. Better shirt. Uh, craft. I don't think I, ha I got many components to craft. I don't think so. Because <clears throat> I need rare stuff to craft. I don't have anything rare at all, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're not upgrading anything. Alright, so. What I would do is, maybe because I'm already out here, I should do that Delamin mission. It was Badlands, right? Yeah, maybe we'll do this since we're, since we're already out here. We'll let this get us to the, the missing car. We'll do that. And then that'll probably be it for today. And then next time around, we'll uh, we'll mess around some more. Uh, Let's see. So now I have, yeah, now I have the Scorpion bike. I have the car and I have the Jackie's arch. I'll just keep so many. I like Jackie's uh, bike. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. It's never going to show up. you got to be shitting me. It's like a million miles away and not showing up. I don't know why. That's really stupid. Oh, I got all this junk. Can I disassemble? Here, I'm going to disassemble some crap for components. Yeah, apparently my bike's never going to show up, and they're saying that this is 700 meters away. This is stupid. There it is. It's way out there, see? So I definitely need a bike to do this. Uh, where the fuck is it? Is it coming or not? <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I'll start walking. What was that? I heard a, a, a horn. I don't know. I'm going to go over here. Can I summon a different vehicle instead? There's Delamin. V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. I'm heading towards it right now. <laughs> the thing is, with no vehicle, I can't chase it, right? I just realized that. What if I want the Scorpion bike? Uh, Pan, Pan, uh, Pan Am Palmer, I don't get what's happening to me. I'm in the city, free to do whatever I want with my life, but fuck, am I really free if I left my old life because things started to get a little inconvenient? I mean, I've always got running. What is that? Does that make sense? Maybe Mitch was right. You should go back, settle everything. Even if, what about Saul? I can't change him and I can't change what I think about him, so don't go lecture me on compromises. I didn't mean to, but trust me, you can live with someone you don't always get along with. Sounds corny, but it's true. You'll see. Uh, no vehicle is showing up. It's probably yet another game bug, it would be my guess. Yeah, nothing's showing up. Well, it doesn't work. Nothing works. <laughs> this game stinks, dude. Oh, okay. Carl and Judas just looked. The vehicle did spawn, but it was behind, way behind you. Oh, my God! All my vehicles are now on the road. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. This game, dude. What the fuck? All my vehicles are now on the road. 
And they're stacked on, stop, on top of each other. What? Ma <laughs> it's that. Look at this. This fucking game is fucked up, man. Who? Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Okay. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way Fuck. we could meet? Discuss some details? <sighs> yeah, sure. Sure. Let's do <laughs> I'll send you the address. See you. One of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got Shit! It. Look at this! I'm stuck in all this junk! What is this? I'm stuck in a bunch of garbage! What the fuck? What what the fuck is this? I feel like I'm playing fucking Death Stranding right now. Oh my god. How the hell did this happen? My car won't move. Oh my fucking god. Yo, this game is fucking wet duty. Wet duty. <laughs> uh. Well, guys, I only got like five minutes left. Thanks to those who did show with me today as I played Cyberpunk. And thanks to those who did contribute. I appreciate it. I'm playing this again on Friday. Yeah, Friday is the next day I'm playing it. So we're going to see where, what's going to happen. Come back on Friday. The bike is way better than the car. Look. I can jump shit in the bike. Phoebe, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in gray paper. Uh. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Huh? What happened? She glitched! I said, what's the spec? She won't talk. She glitched out. Look, she's just sitting there, not moving. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What? She didn't even say anything, and I gotta respond. Poor being proven guilty. Meaning he deserves to die, <laughs> Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? Great. All right, I'm in. Good. Mine will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. I know. Huh. Poor comparison is a new bug every 60 Why seconds. Take along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. All right, technical 2070 to me $2.50 and says, Cannot wait for a Christmas Day special. Happy holidays to me and Jasper and Kat. Thank you. All right, so I'm supposed to wait. What? Now I'm getting in the cab. Get in the cab? Why? Hello, V. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit. An independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? Family life's complicated. I get it. No wonder you flew the nest. What are you after in this city of dreams? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Hmm. Oh, yes. Terms there will be. But not with Delamain. Okay. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. I've re-established the link. 
A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. Okay. So that's two of seven. That one was easy. There was no chase or anything involved. I just had to get to him, and that was the end of it. Okay. Uh, I guess let's just get to the main road, and then we'll save. And the next time I run off the sea, do I actually want to do any... Uh, do I actually want to do any main missions in this area? Right? Do I want to do main missions? Because there's... I mean, excuse me, not main missions. Side missions in this area. It seems like there's quite a lot of them, right? So maybe I'll want to stick around this area and do a little bit of side questing while I'm here before I decide to go back to the main city. By the way, this is ridiculous. This whole... Oh my God, look how high I just propelled. This whole area is a garbage dump. And if you're on a bike, you can just literally drive over and launch yourself. Look at this. Ah. What the fuck is with this game? What the? How do I get out of here? I just wanna, I wanna go back over there to the main city area. Here we go. I jumped the wall. What a mess. What a seriously messy ass game this is. All right, so I just wanna find a street. Here we go. What a fucking mess of a game. Let's save up, and like I said, next time around we'll decide, because I'm, I'm in the wastes now, I'll decide next time, do I want to stay here for a little bit and do some, some side questing or whatever, or do I just want to go back to the main story, in which case, I believe there's the Takamura mission, right? But I think there's another mission as well before that one. So, alright guys, so thank you for those who did, who did support the stream today, I appreciate it. Um, I did the entire Pan, Pan Am plot line and it wasn't very interesting quite frankly it was pretty boring um and wellman could or hellman couldn't even help us right at least he put us in contact with someone else who may be able to help us but hellman couldn't even help us after that whole giant thing it was basically just a wasted time and a way to in, uh, introduce a new character to the game is what it was so all right that's it for cyberpunk until next time thank you guys very much